Hello YouTube. Uh, it is Friday. No, it's not. It's Thursday, the 9th of November. A uh, bit of an impromptu ride into work after I left my car keys in the other house car who has now gone to work. And so uh I have resorted to the Harley, which incidentally does not seem to be running properly since the trip. There, look, it's just conked out. I don't know what's up with it. In fact, it's dead now. That's awkward. I have to keep the revs up, otherwise it just conks out. I don't understand why. It's not like I'm out of fuel. I've definitely got fuel. In fact, I've got... Uh, 115 miles of fuel. Uh, I don't know why it just keeps conking out. It's a pain in the flicking ass. As long as I keep the revs up, at standstill, is all right but when I just started it from cold it idled fine so I'm not sure what the story is there uh, and you can't restart the damn thing until you've put it back in neutral so um, I can't just conk out in sort of second third gear and then um, just start it again I have to uh, come to a stop put it into neutral and then I can actually get the thing started and revving again so I don't know what the story is there anyway yeah so it's a cold morning not freezing cold but cold uh, it's a dry morning God help me if it turns out to be a wet day which I think it is due to be we will see uh, but at the moment I am obviously running a little bit on the late side. See, even, even when I'm just coasting, I have to keep the revs up, otherwise it conks out. So now coming to a stop, I'm going to have to keep it revving which I haven't done. It, it was absolutely fine the whole journey back from taking my lad home. The only time it started happening was after when I came off the ferry back here for the two mile or one mile journey home from the ferry so something's happened on the ferry now there's no sign of damage I'm pretty confident it ain't fallen over but it sure as hell hasn't liked the trip back across and to be fair, it was one hell of a rough crossing. It was shocking. I was on the Mananan, and the Mananan was um, crashing into waves. So, I'm not sure what the issue is, but hopefully it will clear itself up. But. I ain't convinced. Maybe if I get the chance to rev the tits off it, that'll clear something up. I don't know. We will see. Um, yeah, anyway. So, this is um, showing signs of a more regular upload. Because I did one a few weeks ago. Uh, 
and obviously I'll be uploading this one and probably the journey home as well albeit I probably won't do the journey home because now because of daylight saving and all that rubbish um, it's dark when I ride home now which is pretty damn depressing but there you go so this is Douglas Harbour Uh, I've probably got about a 15 minute ride left into work I will be about 20 minutes late uh, but I don't generally take a lunch hour so uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem uh, the channel totally and utterly stagnant 425 subscribers not losing any not gaining any no real surprise I've got, um, I have still got some uh, footage to edit of me on the hog. Uh, I've still got some video to make up on drone footage. Uh, so I want to get back to focusing on the videos on my YouTube channel as opposed to f static photos more. Um, I'm trying to make my videos look a little bit more professional uh, more in terms of the titles and stuff like that I've got some good ideas but um, they'll be winter projects um, so other than that I mean I am happy well pleased and very thankful that people have stuck around I will be uploading more as you can see uh, this one granted is a little bit impromptu like I said uh, kind of an emergency situation and not actually the perfect scenario because of the way the bikes running um, but gets me out on the bike I haven't used the bike I don't think I've used the bike very much this year I think I worked it out the other day I've done about 1,200 miles on the bike this year uh, or in the last 12 months which is pretty poor really I know I live on a small island and there is a limit to how many miles you can do but uh, I think 120 miles is pretty damn shocking I am, um, I will admit, I'm showing signs, a little, some, a few s snippets of weakness in the, um, I love the diner, I love the look of the diner, and I think I already have made a mistake by killing off the diner, um, and going to the soft tail model, um, but that's all I'm going to say on that but I will admit I quite like the look of I hate by the way I absolutely detest the look of the new street bob the stupid little tank and all that just don't like it I will not be buying the new street bob that's for absolutely certain um, there's too much of it that I hate uh, so I hate the, the tank is too small um, I hate the speedo just uh, it's not it's not a good look I think they totally and utterly messed up on that little cookie but I do like the look of the new fat bob albeit the headlight would have to be changed because that just looks dumb um, and I actually really like the look of the new uh, speed glide that they've brought out which has got a little mini fairing and um, is kind of bagger style so I quite like the look of that one I also again showing signs of weakness I like the looks of the newer 765 
um, Triumph Street Triple and the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled looks interesting as well. So I'm sure as a lot of you know as bikers we don't always tend to keep bikes forever now I do think this one is a keeper and if I keep it there's still a load of stuff I want to do to it uh, but yeah like I say the new Fat Bob the new uh, Speed Glide both look very very interesting um, and, and as does a couple of other marks so um, we will see but nothing's going to happen anytime anytime soon whatsoever because I just love this bike I think it's an awesome machine um, obviously I'm up to about I don't know, 3,000, oh, 3,744 miles. So, 256 miles to go, and I'll be at 4,000 miles, so I'll do a, a 4,000 mile review. But other than that, I will shortly be at a unlimited zone. Hopefully, I won't get bogged down with some traffic, and I'm going to wring its neck to see if I can clear whatever this fueling problem is either that, it'll either hopefully it'll either clear the issue or it'll conk out while I'm revving the hell out of it um, which I don't want to happen um, so anyway thank you all relatively short video there won't probably like I say probably won't be one on the return journey due simply because it'll be dark I might set the camera going and just see how it comes out I'm only currently using the Ghost um, S I'm not using the uh, 4K model because um, to get good footage out of the 4K video I'm having to downgrade it to 1080p anyway so um, and the battery life on it is rubbish uh, nowhere near as bad as a GoPro granted I mean GoPro battery life's I, I I still can't fathom out why GoPros are so popular because the battery life on them just makes them quite honestly a joke. Um, apart from the little, well even the little stealth that I use, uh, not the stealth, the session, um, even that one's got pretty bad battery life. Anyway, I'm not going to go on, uh, appreciate you all and we'll speak soon, see ya. When it's running, there's no issue whatsoever. No fueling, no missing, it goes like a train. So, I don't know, the idle speed must have gone to pot or something. I don't know how you fix that. This is not a carbed model. So, anyway, I'll do some research. Vans.
Yeah, that it's conked out again. And it doesn't bump start either. What's that all about? So, I have to, uh, even when I'm coasting, I have to keep the revs up. God damn it. So how late am I? Oh, I nearly conked out then. Quarter of an hour. Here we go, conks out, boom, boom. But I can drift to a stop. Anyway, yeah, take care all.